but the charts that we will be discussing in this lesson should be available on all of them as a standard. I generally like to stick to the MetaTrader and the CTrader platforms when it comes to trading Forex, as I find these the easiest to customize and navigate through. There are three main types of charts that traders use, bar charts, candlestick charts, and line charts. Most people are familiar with line charts and bar charts, as these are taught at universities or in other educational programs. But the candlestick chart isn't often taught, and this is actually the most popular type of chart for technical analysts. Let's first take a look at a bar chart. In the example on the screen, we can see what a bar chart might look like on your trading software. The time scale and date is generally represented down the bottom on the horizontal axis, and the price scale is on the vertical or Y axis on the right hand side. This will generally be the same no matter what type of chart you are using, whether it is a line chart, a bar chart, or a candlestick chart, as most software packages are set up this way. On most chart settings, you will see an option with OHLC as the heading. This is an abbreviation for the open, the high, low and close. Let's take a look at each of these features, as each bar is created using this important information. The O represents the open price. This level represents the first tick on the bar of the time frame that it represents. If you were looking at a one hour bar, the open would be the first up or down tick in that one hour period. This level can always be identified by the small handle which is always on the left hand side of the bar. The H represents the high for the period. To borrow from the one hour example, this will be the highest point that price reached in that one hour period. The L represents the low for the bar's period. So in the same example, this would be the lowest price point reached in the one hour period. And as you may have guessed, the C represents the close price for the period. And this will be the final tick of the one hour period and can be identified by the small handle on the right hand side of the bar. One of the great things about bar charts is that you can identify a bullish or bearish bar very quickly without relying on its color. If the handle on the left is lower than the handle on the right, it is a bullish bar. And if the handle on the left hand side is higher than the handle on the right, it is a bearish bar. I have simplified the example on the screen so the bullish bars are represented in green and the bearish bars are represented in red to make it a little clearer. The example that we can see on the screen shows the Euro US dollar represented on a bar chart. This example is taken from the MetaTrader platform and you can see the time and date down the bottom and the price scale represented on the vertical scale on the right. The colors make the bullish and bearish bars easy to identify and you will also notice a black bar which represents a bar where price opened and closed at the same level. Let's now move on to candlestick charts. Again, no matter what charting software you're using, you'll always see the time represented down the bottom and the price scale on the vertical axis on the right. Candlesticks are formed by using the same OHLC information as the bars we previously discussed, but they are represented differently in a graphical sense. The area between the open and the close of the candle is known as the body of the candle. As it is with bars, if the open is lower than the close, it is a bullish candle. And if the open is higher than the close, it is a bearish candle. The high and the low of the candle's period is represented by the vertical lines and are known as the wicks. These two distances represent the highest point and the lowest point that price reached during the candle's time period. To again borrow from the one hour example, the high and the low represent the highest point and the lowest point that price reached in that one hour period. The example that we see on the screen shows the same Euro US dollar chart, only this time represented on a candle chart. The colors make the bullish and bearish bars very easy to identify. And you will notice the same black bar, which represents the candle where the price opened and closed at the exact same point within that time period. The final type of chart that we will look at is a line chart. The example that we see on the screen shows the same Euro US dollar chart we used previously, only this time represented as a line chart. Line charts are plotted using only one piece of price information, the closing price of each period by default. You can change this setting to reflect the average price for the period or the opening price, but I find it is often best to use the default settings, as this is what the majority of traders will see. Line charts are very beneficial when carrying out your initial analysis, as a lot of the noise is removed, making support and resistance zones, as well as chart patterns clearer to see. The closing price that is plotted is relative to the time frame that you are on. So a one hour chart will plot the closing price of each hour, and a daily chart will plot the closing price of
Thank <laughs> you.